Gabriel. Um, Hey, I'm Tristan. I'm a graduate student uh, studying cybersecurity, and this is my first DEF CON. I knew I always wanted to come to DEF CON ever since I saw the documentary a few years ago. I've always had an interest in cybersecurity. Yeah, I've been coming to DEF CON for the last five or six years. I found out about BIC while being at DEF CON, just following my bros and sisters, actually connecting, meet each other, and empowering each other, and then uh, ran into the lovely Michaela. Okay. My name is Nico Smith, NICO. I'm the Director of Red Team Operations for BIC. I'm the Badge Creator and CTF Organizer. My background in cyber, I'm a National Guard member, formerly part of a cyber protection team. Started out in the civilian sector, kind of developing TTPs and, and capabilities within uh, different people who are interested in doing uh, CTFs. You know, participating with Blacks in Cybersecurity allowed me to, to also give back and, and encourage other people of color to, you know, to get into the field. So to the guys that are new to, to CTFing, uh, it stands for Capture the Flag and it's a assortment of challenges uh, that allow the user to uh, utilize their skills and techniques in order to discover what is called a flag. And a flag is typically a string or a photo that contains uh, a specific word or uh, alphanumeric uh, string that you enter into the challenge site to get a point or get a score. What this badge is and represents is, is the thought and the idea that was brought up by Michaela, uh, where she wanted to create a digital memorial of people who were affected either by in, uh, social injustice or, or police brutality. Um, and she had a list of names. Uh, it all started out as, hey, I want to bring awareness to these things that are happening. After a little bit of discussion, uh, I thought, hey, let's use the big shield. Uh, but we use white, which is the traditional color for, uh, for mourning in, in southern states. And also, uh, as you can see, you have the, the, black, uh, the black version of the big emblem. I'm the CEO and founder of Blacks in Cybersecurity, and I'll tell you a little bit about how we got started. So Blacks in Cybersecurity was started in 2018 on kind of a whim. I was walking around with a few college friends and I wanted to know if we could do something like this for black people, is what I'd say. Like this meaning like a cybersecurity conference with all the accoutrements, lock picking, CTF, talks, and all the networking that we love to do. From there, we were able to grow and have our meetups at other conferences and grow that to our own initiatives and programs. Blacks in Cybersecurity has four conferences a year, our winter conference in February, our virtual conference in the spring, our now village at DEF CON, and our secret con in the fall. Why the big village? Well, here at DEF CON, it's an amazing opportunity to come together from, with people from all different walks of life who all want to indulge and be part of the same thing. And I definitely think that our black community has so much to offer to that as far as con contributing to the hacker and maker spaces. What does BIC mean to me? BIC means a lot. After almost four going on five years of working on BIC, um, it means to me a sense of community that's needed to have progression in our black community and having those resources available to help excel and further build out our pipeline. 
So our badge this year features a shield-shaped um, PCB board with our fist and lock logo. The badge has a special feature in that when you connect to it, it pulls up a web page with the 250 plus names of those who are affected by police violence as well as social injustice. And that is to serve as a memorial for the people who have lost their lives and to serve as a token of awareness for our cause and for our culture and problems that we need to fix within our society. What's next for BIG? A lot of amazing things will definitely come to pass. We're really excited to have a platform of this size. It'll bring even more black people into the space, and we're just excited to cultivate naturally what comes next in our progression. So I got, ex got into technology uh, from high school. I started in uh, robotics at my school, just messing with robots, trying to program them to go left and right and seeing them do autonomous things. And it really made me get into computers and wanting to know more. And then being a, one of the kids that had the first iPhone as a kid, you know, always being in with technology, it was always cool to me to mess with stuff and see what cool things it could do. So currently I am the director of communications for Blacks and Cyber. I'm also the ambassador coordinator. Uh, I handle our ambassador program uh, that is around the world. So how did I get started with BIC? So interestingly enough, um, Michaela had a meetup group um, on meetup and I just happened to see it and it was like, hey, let me get involved. And we went there and we met up at like a, a bar. It was probably like eight of us, so maybe at max 15 people. We sat at a table. I didn't know anybody. I was kind of new to the, the environment. And uh, just to be able to see people that look like me and uh, that's in cybersecurity as well, like I was like, yo, this is something I could be a part of. I never expected it to grow this fast and be this big so quick, but I'm happy I'm a part of it and I'm, all, I'm a, a ride or die big person. So why the big, vill big Village is a great question. So uh, why not? You know, like we've been doing conferences, we've been uh, participating in a lot of events, uh, coming to meet us, we come to DEF CON, every year and we're we're here representing just for our, our community and so this was the opportunity for us to take it a step forward and really be a part of the culture of DEF CON, be in the history books of DEF CON and really make an impact in our community and show like hey we're here and we just want to empower our community to really get in cybersecurity. BIC means to me family. Um, you know everybody is not lucky to have a huge family and like for me, my family's pretty small, and cybersecurity is a is a profession. But I am able to talk and communicate with people that look like me, that are in the same field, and be able to feel like I have a connection with them, regardless if we're not blood or we've never really met like that. We talk online. I got a great opportunity to meet a lot of people this time uh, at the conference that I've been talking on the on the computer for a while. So that's what big means to me, family. So some of our programs. So we have. Tons of programs, but some of the highlighted programs that I would like to say, um, our mentorship program, um, we really strive for just giving back to the community, having people that are already in BIC give back to other members um, and students to kind of just give them uh, more involved in cybersecurity and give them a somebody to lean on to help out. Uh, mentorship will be one. Our ambassador program to give our uh, our members a uh, someone in person to actually be able to go to and to, to see to host their own mini conferences and different happy hours and events. That is something that is really important to me. Those are probably two of the main ones that stick out, but we definitely have, I cannot forget our give back to our students and the youth. Uh, we're giving back uh, through K through 12th. Uh, right now we're really focusing on the high school uh, section and then we're going to work our way down. So that's what we're looking at right now. So the online community is like Google for cybersecurity because <laughs> you can kind of go in there, ask anybody any questions. Everybody's really friendly um, to be able to help you out and uh, just meet somebody that might not be around you that can give you some insight. So just somewhere that you can go and feel safe in a safe space to ask any questions regardless on what you think about it. Well, BIC has a lot of stuff planned. We're definitely just uh, we continue doing what we're doing. This is just another thing we're adding to our calendar that we're going to work on. Um, our four conferences that we have during the year. Um, and so we're going to still do those and we're going to have a few more workshops planned. So stay tuned. I think that it's necessary to have a group that advocates for blacks that are in cybersecurity and build a culture and a community that allows people to be kind of unapologetic and learn without the necessarily negative stereotypes that 
uh, come with being uh, African American or black person. Everything that you guys stand for and everything that you guys are bringing to the community is amazing, very influential, and it's very motivating uh, for me personally uh, just to have the opportunity to be around both like-minded individuals and uh, people of color, you know, uh, because just being here at DEF CON, uh, it lacks diversity in many ways, so I think that just having this representation here is very important for us. Hey, my name is Tanisha. I'm here at the Big uh, Blacks and Cyber Village at DEF CON 29. I'm very excited to be here. I absolutely love the big things that Michaela and the Blacks and Cybersecurity are doing for the black community. The fact that they were able to put this together in their inaugural, I hope this is not the, the last one, but I would love to see more black people being represented and you know, just operating in the space. So I absolutely love what's going on here. Um, I'm excited to you know, be giving a talk in, at 4.30 um, and I'm, I just am excited that we're here and we're doing this. My first CTF at DEF CON, I was expecting for, for hackers to like grief my servers and destroy them. Because by the way, I'm kind of a cyber guy. <laughs> um, but I had these great guys who came out and they, they said, hey, let's, let's try this out. It was PTFS uh, ended up coming out on top and they're our Black Badge winners. So. <laughs> Yeah.